What's going on everybody? I'd just like to start this video off by letting everybody know you can get free shipping to the Tinley Park NARBC Reptile Show coming up in October. The cutoff date to order anything from Freedom Breeder is September 1st. And there's limited space on the truck. So get your orders in as soon as possible. Today I'm gonna show you black pastels and the combinations and how black pastels influence other genes. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. And if you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment below. So what we have here is a black pastel, single gene. There is a super, it makes an all black snake. And I really like this gene because it busies up the pattern while darkening up the entire snake. There's some things that it's a lelic with, such as het red exantic or green pastel. It is commonly mistaken for cinnamon, and cinnamon is also commonly mistaken as black pastel. We'll show you a video on cinnamons coming soon. So what we have here is a black pastel chocolate. So as you can see, due to the chocolate, it gives these circular alien heads. It darkens it up a little bit, but it didn't darken it up as much as I thought it would and it also cleans up the pattern. It doesn't have as much busy, um, busyness inside of the alien heads. It gives them a nice uniform set of circles down the side of the body. What we have here is a black pastel bamboo. As you can see, the bamboo is a very dominant gene. Dominates most of the pattern, but if you've seen a lot of bamboos, you'll, you'll notice the characteristics from the black pastel showing in this as you would see in the head it doesn't have any head stamp and it's darkening it up a little bit and solidifying it and on the back kind of brings all the pattern together on the sides it wants to show off these busy alien heads but the bamboo is dominating And then you always get that tail stripe very often with black pastels. This right here is a black pastel Mojave. And all the black parts of the snake, like as you would see here, get browned out and slight gray from the Mojave. It creates this nice striping down the back. It is broken up. And with the Mojave, it jumbles all these alien heads together, it makes like a very jumbled line of pattern down the sides of the snake. They do have very nice bellies. So I'll show you the regular black pastel one since I didn't show it earlier. And you'll often get a ringer down towards the end of the tail. And you'll get these conjoined busy patterns towards the sides of the belly. The Mojave has a very strong influence with the black pastel. All right, so what we have here is a black pewter, which is a black pastel, pastel, Mojave, coral glow, possible yellow belly. She's gonna do some big things for sure. So with the black pastel Mojave, you see that it gets this stripe down the back. With the pastel included, it like puts like a fuzzy line and fades it out and makes a full stripe. And you see the black pastel making its circular pattern down the sides of the snake. They're not busy, but they're there and they're wanting to conjoin the whole way down because of the Mojave and the pastel is what's brightening the snake, almost making it look white. This here is a black pastel, Mojave, yellow belly, coral glow. Possibly pastel, but in my opinion, I don't see the pastel, that's why I only put possibly, because of all the yellow, but as you've seen previously, when you add pastel, black pastel and Mojave and Coral Glow, you get almost a white looking snake. But since it's in the breeding, it's possibly there. But 
you see the black pastel and Mojave mix. They vary, but they make the circles smaller and they start conjoining. And the yellow belly is intensifying all the yellow coming out of the sides of the snake. Right here. This snake is available on the Freedom Breeder page. This amazing, insane snake right here is a black pastel spider calico. And the spider is a very dominant gene that strongly influences the pattern. And due to the black pastel being in there, you get a nice, weird, webby pattern on the snake. The calico intensifies the whites on the sides and adds a lot of orange on the belly as well as the black pastel does also. <laughs> so a lot of this orange patterning in the belly comes from adding the black pastel with the spider and then the calico intensifies that orange in the belly. Look at that belly, it's just incredible. So what we have here is a black pastel Mojave pastel, yellow belly, hidden Jiwama granite, coral glow. So as you can see, the pastel is showing, but not as bright as normal because the hidden Jiwama is a darkening gene. So you see the yellow, the yellows on the face, yellows on the body, and the blushed out back of the head. And then the hidden Jiwama makes these circles busy not even really circular anymore. And the Mojave Black Pastel mix conjoins them together. And this one's available on the website. What we have here is a Black Pastel Spider Granite Coral Glow. Regular Spider Coral Glows won't have as much orange. Like I was saying earlier, brightens up the, uh, the yellows on the belly and the oranges along the edges. Without the calico, it's not as extreme and you're not getting these white spots in the middle. However, you are getting this white, but that's the influence from the spider if you've watched in the previous video on the spider gene. But overall, this snake is super orange and it's got really nice grays coming through, which is also part of the black pastel. This one also is available on the website. Definitely breeder size. All right, so don't mind this stuck shed on his head. It's true, everybody gets them. Nobody's perfect, but this right here is a super pastel, black pastel. So this is also known as a silver streak ball python. It's possibly orange dream, but can't guarantee it. So the black pastel mixed with pastel, it gives it this gray, silverish look. So what we have here is a black pastel, pastel, coral glow, pied. And it's very common that when you put black pastel with pied, you get extremely high white and in this case, it's a high white pipe, but he'll be doing big things for us. Kind of excited about this one. All right, so we'll finish this off with a black pastel albino. She's pretty big, taking up a lot of the table. So what happens with the black pastel and albino, you get the solid white patterning and the solid yellow patterning. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this video on black pastels over here at Freedom Breeder. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. And if you're interested in any ball pythons from Freedom Breeder, our website is www.freedombreeder.com and go to the ball python section. We have plenty available. And once again, thank you for watching and don't forget to place your orders for Tinley.